Um, for, the, for the gentle lady from Cameroon, I, I would like to understand a little bit better, as a person from another country yes. who is also a person of African descent, yes. I'm curious to know more about the different challenges you might have faced in accessing care, because we know there are layers of obstacles and um, I'd like to know if you've experienced additional difficulty because you are a black person in this country. Thank you for the question. I have been in this country for 20 years, but I fell sick seven years ago. During that 20 years, I was working hard. I do all sorts of odd jobs, cleaning people's houses as an immigrant, doing their landscaping, roofing. I can show you, I can name as, as many jobs that I have done in this country. And during that time, I was paying my taxes. I got coverage in Montgomery County be, because where I live in, uh, in Tacoma Towers, that complex is between two counties. So it depends on the person who is on the person who is on the computer. He can put me either in Montgomery County or in PG County. That's how I got coverage in Montgomery, because the person who was on, on the computer saw that I live in Montgomery County, Tacoma. But two years ago, they discovered that okay, somebody just came in and saw that I live in PG, and they took off the coverage. So since two years, I have not got coverage. I've been sick. I, I have a venous <coughs> stasis. I had blood clot in, in my lung, which that time I, I didn't have coverage. I, I went to Adventist Hospital. The bill came up to $63,000. I couldn't pay, so I had to go to the natural way, drinking herbs, seeking help from Google. I go to Google, I ask how to treat blood clot naturally. And they give me some solution. I try to do like that. At the point that the blood clot disappeared, but the remaining one is classified, is calcified. At the present moment, I have a calcified granuloma in my lung. The doctor told me, that one will not kill you. I said, okay, I believe you. After that, it was pleurisy. Pleurisy, why? I don't know. The condition, the climate, I still beat it, up, but diabetes has been at the top. That I have tried. My sugar was at 385. I was about to go into diabetic coma when they discover there is no diabetic patient in my family. So I have been fighting. One morning I woke up, I saw just my leg swelling, swelling, swelling. I said, what is this? I went, I went to a clinic at Langley Park. They told me, you, you have diabetes. I started doing what I can do, searching, doing my own research on herbs. I go on YouTube, I look for those who have had that sickness before me and what they do and what they did. So I try to copy what they are doing. And to come back to what uh, your colleague asked, why do immigrants come to this country and when they don't find a way, why do they not go back? I am an immigrant. Before I came to this country, I have a bachelor's de degree in my country. Because of the political situation, I have to run away. My children are scattered in different countries. I came here, I applied for asylum. And the judge just looked at me and told me, you were rich back home, you must have. I said, no, I was not rich. I was struggling to survive with my children. I have seven grandchildren. 
I've worked hard to bring my two to bring my two children up. The third, I had three children. One died, leaving four four children. So I'm the one who have been taking care of them because my two girls cannot take care of those four children. They have their own. When your colleague asks that, why can we not go back? If you fall sick today, anybody in this hall, you fall sick, you go to the hospital, it's an immigrant who will take care of you. Exactly. If uh, he has become a citizen in this country or he's working, most of the hospitals are full with immigrants. They were immigrants, they were undocumented before they had their papers. So it's a process. But one day I believe I will have my papers. I have been in Tacoma Towers for 20 years, from one bedroom to two bedroom, from two bedroom to three bedroom. I'm not going anywhere, or either I die there. No, no, we do in, not do that. In the same apartment. We d one second. I haven't changed my ma apartment. Ma'am, hold on one second. We do not do that. We always keep the decor, okay, in the committee. Thank you. Go ahead. Yeah. I have lived there for 20 years. When I took an apartment of three bedroom, this is 16 years that I'm in that apartment because I love PG County, where I live. I don't drive, and because of my situation, I cannot live far from the main road where I can catch my bus. I skip. Even with this foot, two years ago, I was doing roofing in somebody's house, but he didn't know that I had a saw on my leg. I can show you the pictures. I did it, I struggled. Before I go to work, I take painkillers, I take ibuprofen just to calm down the pain, I go and look for the small dollar that I will feed my children and my grandchildren. 